they're just everywhere and they're there all the time, especially when I wear my hair up. Hey, welcome to my 32 week pregnancy update. This week the baby is the size of a squash or one of those plastic scooters from elementary school. I thought that was kind of cute. I just realized that I forgot to say how much she weighs and how long she is, so I'm just gonna insert this here. She's about 16.6 inches long and 3.75 pounds, and it says between two and a half to 3.8 and between 5.2 to 16.7, so I think that's the same as last week anyways, but yeah, a little rough estimate of how big she is. Um, I also wanted to show how big the baby, oh, cat hair, um, the baby's hand is. So this is from the app Ovia, and if you've never used it before, oh my god, it won't focus. Come on. Um, the pink hand is the size of the hand the baby is right now, the, or the size of the baby's hand right now, and then the full, like the outer whatever, the outline, is the size of the baby's hand when it will be born. So there's that, and then the little foot. So the foot, I feel like, is not as big as the hand is. I don't know, the hand, that just looks like so close to being like full size, like when it first comes up like that the baby has a hand it's just like the tiniest little dot like smaller than my fingernail and yeah it just is like almost full size now which is crazy we're getting so close okay so I don't have a whole lot of symptoms to talk about this week I don't know just hasn't been a whole lot going on I've been feeling pretty good um I have been feeling like kind of tired I think that was last week I talked about or maybe it was two weeks ago like the 30 week slump that I read about online. Um, I'm not feeling like that tired where I'm just like exhausted and don't even want to do anything because I am, I have been doing a lot of organizing, like nesting or whatever, but like I've talked about before, I'm just the type of person who likes to organize and like make sure everything's in order. So I don't know how much of it is necessarily nesting, but we are getting to that point. Um, yeah, this has been my first week off. Last week I had my last day of work. It's been really nice to just relax and like not have like a schedule, I guess I could say. I still have things I have to do throughout the day, obviously, to take care of my toddler. But, you know, I have things like, um, like doctor's appointments, which I had one this past week. And today I'm getting a pedicure, actually. I'm so excited. My mom got me like a pedicure we call it gift certificate for Christmas and I just never used it I was like saving it for summertime because I didn't want to waste it for the winter when nobody sees your toes and then every time I've asked my mom to look after Grace to go get it done it just hasn't worked out so getting it done today and I'm so excited um the weather has cooled down so much I'm wearing a hoodie because it's that chilly today it actually might rain today um, but it's been nice it definitely has been nice to have cooler weather um, I'm normally the type of person that doesn't complain about hot weather in the summer I love hot, other than when I'm trying to sleep I hate when it's hot at night but I even when I'm pregnant I don't I try not to complain about the hot weather too much because it does get so cold in the winter but the week before this week, I guess, like I guess it was last week, and even the week before that, it's been hot. It's been really, really hot. So this week, getting like a little break from that with some cool weather has been really nice, but I do hope this isn't the end of summer considering it's just the beginning of August. Um, and then the last like symptom that I have written down to talk about is these baby hairs. I think I've flattened them all down with water right now. I don't think you can see them, but oh my god, they're just like, like, from like all like here all the way around like yeah there's some like they're just everywhere and they're there all the time especially when I wear my hair up but when my hair down I can kind of like pull them down with the rest of the hair I guess if that makes sense but they're everywhere and they're driving me crazy like oh, I, it has to be a pregnancy thing I'm pretty sure I've heard other pregnant women like in these type of videos or whatever talk about their baby hairs I hate them <laughs> they're so frustrating um, so that's really all I have to talk about for symptoms. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of, a whole lot of symptoms going on this week. Um, but I had my doctor's appointment, my 32 week appointment on Tuesday. I ended up having to take Grace, but she did really good, thankfully, because it was her first time at the new clinic. She didn't come with me the last time I went to the new clinic. Um, so I think that might have been why she did good because it was like a new environment. She was like, you know, looking at everything. Everything was like new and exciting. 
not that a doctor's office is very exciting but she did really good um for as far as the like statistics or whatever I wrote down my uh weight but I don't remember how much I think I only gained like a pound or something I didn't gain very much weight from the last appointment which was like two weeks prior um my blood pressure was 110 over 60 which is actually low like I think I talked about last week or recently that my blood pressure hasn't hasn't gotten as high as it got with grace there's still time for it to get high and i'm assuming it's because i haven't gained as much weight um 110 over 60 though i think it's like the lowest hi biggie um i think the lowest that it's been like my whole pregnancy i don't know what it is i, I don't know what my blood pressure is normally but i feel like that's low um the fundal height or whatever they call it was 31 inches basically like the size of my belly so that's slightly small but not like too small she says that it's totally average um she's still head down i'm super happy about that um the next appointment again i'm still in the like two week time frame or whatever i'm not sure when you start going every week i think it might be at 36 weeks but i'm not totally sure so yeah i go back in two weeks and then the other thing was that I can't remember if she, I think she said not next appointment the following one but she might have said the next appointment but that would only mean 34 weeks it must be not the next one but the following one um she's gonna do the strep b test which if you've been pregnant before you know what that is and it totally sucks um and then she's also gonna check to see if my cervix is dilating or whatever if it's doing anything I think is the word she used um so that is literally all I have to talk about um I filmed um, like the baby girl haul video earlier in the week. I was going to say yesterday, but I don't think it was. I think it was like two days ago. But that hopefully should be up by now. So I'll link that video in the cards. I think, I can't, I think they're on the side. I'll link that video there and in the description box below. So you can go check that out. So if we do get anything else for the baby from here on out, I am going to include it in these weekly updates because I'm not doing another haul video because that video was... I was gonna say it was a disaster but it wasn't I haven't edited it yet so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but it just felt really like choppy and not very good because my battery died and it was just the whole thing you can go watch it and let me know what you think but that is all I have to say for this video so I'll go ahead and show my bump now Biggie wants to be in this week's video apparently so this is my bump at 32 weeks on this side so I always talk about my belly button so you can kind of like it's not popped out but it's just like the top like is starting to pop out I don't know how to like explain that I don't know but yeah that's what you can see you always know, see that it's not actually popped out yet yeah, I always feel like it looks bigger when I look at it in the camera I think I say that all the time but yeah there she is at 32 weeks so that's all I have for this week's update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow my journey. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.